competition. Um, open mask. What if mask was a color? Blue, like the sky, and the Why? sea. Why? Well, infinity. Again, well, it's vast. Okay. An object. Object. Um, maybe a sphere. Uh, why? <laughs> um, because it's the simplest, sort of most perfect shape. Which mathematician would you have liked to be? Um, ah, von Neumann. <laughs> what do you like most uh, about mathematics? Mm. Probably the fact that it's true. And what do you hate the most? What I hate the most about mathematics. Well, sometimes you can't you, you can't avoid sort of technical difficulties, and then you can get stuck. Of you can waste a lot of time having to deal with technical difficulties. What's your favorite book on mathematics? My favorite book on mathematics. There are not so many good books on mathematics. I mean, so I did enjoy you know, the book on Fermat's last theorem. It was, a, it, was a, it was a very nice book. And your favorite books, not in mathematics. Not in your, mathematics. Perhaps the, the, your bedside book. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> what other job would you have liked to, to do? Um, and besides mathematician and besides programmer and, be and besides physicist. Always. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Um, hmm. I suppose I could have worked as a sound engineer. If there is a god of mathematics, what would you like him to tell you once you meet him? So in, in our kind of, I think one of the it's going to, I mean, it's difficult to somehow explain to non-mathematicians, but I mean, so, so the one thing that I would probably ask is somehow why universality works. But, uh, I mean, it's, some, it's a somewhat mysterious principle which, uh, which is used a lot in theoretical physics, actually, and which, you know, tells you that many, many different systems or many different things behave in the same way. And intuitively, it's, it's relatively clear. I mean, you can say, well, you know, you see, you see this thing, you see this other thing, and it, it somehow behaves similarly. But when you look at mathematical descriptions, they often look completely different, and you just have no clue why they should behave in the same way. And in some cases, you can show it, uh, and it always works somehow. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's essentially no example where you where you would expect things to behave in the same way, and they don't. Uh, but but mathematically, we still we really don't know why. I mean, we know it in certain cases, like the central limit theorem is an example where you, could, you know in probability you often see this this bell-shaped curve for probabilities, and this we know very well why it comes up in many 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 places. Um, but there are many, many other instances of this kind of universality where we just don't have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> J'espère que le Dieu des maths existe alors <laughs>